Okay, so if you are like me, you have been bombarded with tons and tons of emails. So your teacher, of course, I have multiple folders. So if you see down here, I went from the first week we were there in remote learning, second week, all the way down to the eighth week. So um, how are you going to clean this out? So here's an easy way. The first thing you can do is if you're searching for emails, you can... Um, That's how it is in our house. Yes, so you can put somebody's name in. So if I do Nardello, all right, it says Peter Nardello. I'm going to click that. And as it loads, here we go. I get every email that Mr. Nardello is associated with. Okay. And then I don't have to go searching for it. So that's one way that you should um, look for different emails from teachers. All right, the other thing you can do is if you start to get really frustrated, well, let me X out of here, is you can start making folders, right? So Makai sent me an email. He said he's going to redo the test. So I'll say, okay, so I'll go move to, and then I hit create new, and then I'm just going to write test redos create that way i'll look and see well who's redoing a test all right unfortunately i don't know what test he's redoing but okay so that's everything all right so i hope that helps you kind of clean out your emails because if you're like me you have tons of emails and you're going to get really frustrated in the last couple weeks trying to get um the rest of the assignments done so I would spend some time cleaning out your emails. That's it. Talk to you soon.